ingenious supplies. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters, where I can't stop winning the die roll. My name's Alex, and today we're playing some CEDH. We want to start off, though, by thanking our sponsor, Gamegenic. Gamegenic makes everything you see on this table. We've got playmats, we've got sleeves, we've got deck boxes under the table. They're pretty great, they're pretty awesome, and frankly, if you don't already have them, you should go get them. But in the meantime, we're playing CDH Day, and I am on Paco and Hauled On. That's right, it's the good, good, woofy boy. I'm here to steal everybody's cards, borrow all the things, and cast them back at their owners. Hopefully, using either Paco to deal a bunch of damage, or using Hauled On to outvalue my opponents. Yeah, uh, I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie. I've got Prosh, Sky Raider of Care. Uh, it's a food chain deck. It is maybe the grandfather of, of food chain decks. Maybe like the, we got, we got to put a couple greats in there. Great, great, great grandfather. Uh, it, it was the OG food chain deck. deck's that great. Uh, <laughs> medium food chain <laughs> father. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to food chain people. I got creatures. I got ways to find food chain. And I got brosh. Uh, I'm rocking new Obnixilis, Captive Kingpin, uh, because I love dealing exactly one damage to everybody and exiling all the cards off the top of my library. Uh, yeah, and then from there, we'll probably just, I don't know, kill everybody, we'll figure it out. <laughs> the world is your oyster when you have all the cards <clears throat> off the top of your library. <laughs> true. Truly, truly. Uh, hey, Aaron, I'm playing Tivit, Seller of Secrets. It's an Esper mid-range list that wins, you know, typical blue-black ways. Um, the Monocle Station, Thassa's Oracle. Uh, you also have Time Sieve, because I'm playing Tivit in the Command Zone. Um, other than that, it's a pretty... Pretty hard mid-range list, so I'm looking to slow the game down a little bit to play more of my speed. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully play Tibbet. Awesome. <laughs> well, like I mentioned, I won the die roll, so I'm going to go first. Really? Any pre-game effects? None for me. Right on. We're starting off with drawing a card. Sheesh. Solid. Ancient Tumba. Tumba. Arcane Signet. Oh, 38. And it's a really good thing we had sushi for lunch. Mystic Remora. Tough, yeah. Rough. That's fair. Uh, I'm a creature deck. That's fair. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. I have got a Misty Rainforest, and I'm going to crack it. Going to 39. I've got a Taiga from my Misty, and there, there's a bird. There's a bird on my uh, snowy mountain range. It's just a, hanging out here. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a mountain. A uh, Mount Doom. <gasps> I'll pay one life. Okay. Make a red. A monkey. Oh, oh wow. what has a monkey? Creatures. Mm -hmm. Oh, pastor. Am I right, gamer? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play an Underground River. Okay. I'm going to pass. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. All right. We're going to untap on our upkeep. We're going to take two. Ouch. 36. Pay for the old age counter. Draw a card. Uh, take a mana burn. No. <laughs> I refuse. Fiery Islet. Tap for green. Birds of Paradise. Pass the turn. Ooh. Wow. I might mental misstep it. No, you don't. Oh, untap. Right. <laughs> Draw for turn. I've got an Arid Mesa. And I'll fetch down to 38. I'm gonna get a Badlands. Uh, oh, and then not tapping that one, tapping this one for a Findhorn Elves. Nice. Yeah, I'm attempting to assemble creatures in my creature combo deck. And it's gonna be really unfortunate with Jan uh, casting Anna Festivities next turn. Yeah, Anna Festivities. Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna untap and draw. City Brass, I'm gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. Alex. Sure. 34. I'll make a tree. What's in the box? Oh my god. It gives him a, gives him a card. But oh, true. That's fair. It's a Grimora. soul ring. It do be a soul ring. Uh, I'll take a paint off the City of Brass. Cast Alex's soul ring. Keep it for Nah. We're here for a good time and not a long time. So I'll take another pain. Crack my treasure. And cast Obnixilus. Pass on Obnixilus. Pass on Obnixilus. Yeah, that's one way to cast him on turn two. Just hit Good somebody time. else's soul ring. I know. I was not optimistic, but then <laughs> I saw Ob the ring. Obnixilistic. Ob I'm going to pass the turn before I keep taking anything. Good choice. <laughs> that's really bad. Not paying for. <laughs> Trying to find straight. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's really good. I do I do enjoy me a Dranith Magistrate. After I've played on the next one. You have Actually, the ring no. to cast it. <laughs> well, I can't. You can't kill it. No, but you can't cast the spells from exile. Yeah, I can't. Oh. Yeah. It's not that bad then, yeah. Oh. 
Oh. Chain of paper. Oh. Sure. So I, I assume it's resolved. Yeah, it resolves. Yeah, resolved. Yeah, resolved. And then, yeah. Okay. Sure. And it turns. Yeah. Uh, so trigger, because you yep. took one damage. Yeah. Oh. That's how that works. Lose exactly one life. Okay. Pay yep. one life. Put a gun. Fire out. Chain of paper on the stack. Pass. Uh, would you like to. No. Nope. Sacrifice in that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Don't worry, you can play it next turn. Anything else? Right on. Untap, upkeep, goodbye, Mystic Remora. Uh, on his second birthday. Yeah. And we'll draw a card. Play a forest. Pay two, three, four, five, take three damage, go to 30. Notably, one of it is one damage. Yeah. Yep. So, trigger. D2. V2. V2. Paco, Arcane Retriever. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna move to declare attacks. Yep. Jeez. We're gonna swing her over at Elliot. Everybody, reveal top card. Oh, yeah. Lands a land. One creature. So three counters. So put three counters on the Woofer Boy. Six coming at you. Yeah, I'm not blocking this one. It might might cost me later, but going to 32. Alrighty, second main phase. We will play a carpet of flowers and pass the turn. On tap. Uh upkeep. Uh draw. I am going to play a Lanoir Wastes and pass the turn. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm a, I'm a little short on doing anything myself Tap. here, which is bad. Sort of. All right, to start off, I'm going to uh, take another pain. Rapid free fall. Cast yeah. this birdie. Anything? Nope. No. Okay. Uh, then I'll cast a Lotus Petal. Make mm -hmm. a red. Spin the red. Take another pain. Yikes. This doesn't trigger off you, right? <laughs> no, I wish. Cast a Talisman of Indulgence. Make another red. He's ramping. I'm ramping. Spend the red. Don't take a pain. And I'll play a very modest Dockside. Ooh. It's for only for three, I believe. Yeah, I've got zero. Yeah. yeah. One and two. One red and three treasures. Oh my god. Basically just adds another treasure. I will move to combat. Aaron. Mm -hmm. Attack you for dose. Sure. How about windfall? Ooh. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to crack my uh, Lotus Petal mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. cast this Vampiric Tutor, uh, making a uh, red. Pass on Vampiric Tutor. Uh, yeah, go for it. Pass on Vampiric Tutor. Put that card on top. Go to mystery 33. Card. Yes, Sounds go to 33. Then I will spend this two red and one treasure. Make another red. I'll cast Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Oh! Didn't even want my windfall. No, I mean, ah, I one more card. One seven you know? cards, not, not <laughs> less than seven cards. I guess it, technically you can still play it one turn. I can, yeah. Oh, true. Okay, I yeah. will pass on wheel. Sorry, you get a red and trigger. Yeah, yeah for you to get a red. Then yeah, pass him. Yeah. Okay. What are you discarding? I'm discarding Urbrask, Underworld Breach, and Felwar Stone. We had both. Okay, so <laughs> I am discarding this like turn one with Skamora is really awkward because I had premium two drops of Lotho, Blind Obedience, Dratheth Magistrate, and I was like, I'm just not going to. I'm going to take a turn off, right? And then, uh, yeah, it was just bad. And then I drew Mana Vault and Ocean Thief. Oh, right on. There. Uh, you got Mana Drain, Windfall, Danger's Lore, Flood and Strand. So I, the way that I was one mana short, I drew this Gaia's Cradle for turn. <laughs> uh, but it makes, with uh, this Diabolic Intent for the food chain, uh, I had eight mana. Mm. Uh, so I couldn't infinite prosh and then play this Reckless Bushwhacker and then two more lands. <laughs> I was so close. All right, I'm going to draw it. No. <laughs> Well, I'm going to play this Verdict Catacombs, okay. uh, which I'm going to, you know, very quickly uh, crack to go get some more mana. All right, I'll get this Badlands. Uh, then I'm going to lose the mana, but uh, I will spend a red from the Badlands and a red from Bergy to cast Warrior's Oath, Oh, making a red from Bergy. Uh-oh. Uh, I will take an extra turn after this one, and at the beginning of that turn's end step, I lose the game. Uh... Uh, and pass anything. on Warriors. I pass. I'm sandbagging in the silence where it's upkeep. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do it, Aaron. I've got <laughs> creatures. Listen, I lost I lost the Final Fortune last time. I'm bringing someone else down. <laughs> All right, and then I will move to... You're cast Woodfall? No, I'm not going to cast Woodfall. Almost, uh, almost had him. Oh, I thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm going to lose this Windfall. Uh, well, I'm going to move. I'm going to move to what will be the last, my last turn of the game. One, one way or the one other. One way or the other. Just the way the Rakdos deck likes yeah. it. I'm going to untap, and we're going to draw. I'm going to win or die trying. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, to maintain my free fall condition, I'm not going to use this bad land. So I'm going to take uh, two damage, <laughs> one off my Talisman and one off my City of Brass. Okay. 30. 30. Uh, then I'm going to spend two I don't think another one off Mount Doom. <laughs> just, sure. to, just to make it worse for the, the yeah. uh, recap. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast All Will Be One. Oh. 
Right. Oh, we died. It's okay. Uh, Nobody yeah, take random uh, damage. Pass on all we want. I've, I've, somebody, yes. you have somebody. It's fine. Obscuring haze. Problem solved. Yeah. Okay. I still have creatures in my creature right. combo deck. So, uh, I would like to now move to combat. It's obscuring haze. Aaron, look bad. my dear friend Aaron, I would like to attack you with the most most powerful creature currently on the board, Dockside <laughs> Extortionist. Obscuring haze. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still creatures in my creature combo deck. <laughs> I will uh, not block. All, All right. right, so uh, Jen, you want to explain? To yeah, tell us what's going on here. All right, so uh, Aaron will take exactly one damage from the one power... 37. Right. 37. Then I will put a plus one, plus one counter on Obnixilis and exile a card from the top of my library. Then all one will trigger because I put a one, one counter on a uh, creature I control. And then all will be one will deal that much damage to... Uh, target opponent creature or an opponent controls or planeswalker opponent controls. So I'll deal an additional damage to Aaron. You can be first two. Yeah, you um, can so kill any of us. Basically, okay. you're going to empty your library. Yeah, empty my library and, and deal infinite damage. Just deal infinite damage to everybody. Seems okay. Pass on dying. Uh, pass on dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make you kill me two less uh, triggers. <laughs> you did wheel me uh. into uh, enough to do it, go for it again uh, if it made it back to me because I had vamp for the food chain this time, extra creatures, <laughs> and a simian spirit guide. But my wheel handles uh, did not do anything. Yeah. At That's least true. with uh, you know I didn't have blue up. Yep. Ah, yeah. No merfolk um, spirit guide. No merfolk yes. spirit guide. When are they gonna Thanks, put that? Can you imagine? Please, never. Please, Gosh, never. that'd be oh. so good. I'd be very happy with it. I, I feel like that game was pretty good overall, except yeah. for uh, stumbling as hard as I did on mana coming out the gate. Um, did you stumble on the mana? Uh, having to have all that pain oh, really no. made it oh, for sure. Well, I guess well, you, ha you had mana. I, uh, I didn't play this Mox Diamond yeah. because of this uh, uh, Mr. Kamara. And I, I really wanted to play like, okay, well, la going last with Blind Obedience, going last with Lotho, going last with Draneth. I was like, okay, I can probably take a turn off yeah. playing Draneth this turn. Um, because like, I don't think anyone's gonna play their commander the, the next turn. Oh, and, and hopefully, and I, then he hit the soul ring. <laughs> he hit the soul ring, and I didn't because like I didn't want to feed the Mystic Mora. Yeah. My lands that I started with were Spire and uh, Underground Sea or Underground right. River, sorry, which neither had white. Right. So like, hey, I'm gonna play the Underground River and hope to draw land, or right. I have to worst case play the Mox Diamond, which feeds the fish. Yeah. And didn't really work. Yeah, me me having to to vapor the magistrate rather than mm -hmm. obnixilis yeah. uh, it was really the turning point there mm -hmm. um i think it was a pretty good game overall it was a little fast but you know that yeah. happens in cdh sometimes <laughs> yeah. and like yeah like i i was close and then he won and you know you, can't you, complain you never expect the soul ring off the top of your opponent's library <laughs> <laughs> you, you should you know everybody yeah. plays it right yeah. you know I mean, it's pretty good if you want to find a soul ring you should probably be finding it in your game genic deck box <laughs> on your game genic play mat and in your game genic sleeves because they are the best at what they do and we want to make sure that you have the best for yourself. If you want to pick up Game Genic products, just check out your local LGS. If they don't have them there, just ask. They could probably get them in. In the meantime, though, you're going to see some names scrolling over there past Elliot's face. There are patrons. They're the best at what they do, and we're very happy to have them. They help keep the lights on around here. And if you want to join their illustrious numbers to help support content that you enjoy, head on over to patreon.com slash the spike feeders. You can sign up for as little as one US dollar per month, and it makes a huge difference for us. So in the meantime, folks, we just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you have the opportunity, look to give blood, and we hope you have a wonderful day.